The Z06, when compared to the Corvette Z8 Stingray, is more aggressive, bears more power, and is definitely faster. This didn't just come about. The work on the Z06 was intensive, but in the end, the car proffers improved aerodynamics from front to back. According to Chevy, the Z06 is the most proficient track car it has ever made accessible. And in this video, we are straight up going to talk more about how Chevy maneuvered their way with the C8 Z06's aerodynamics in less than 4 minutes. So stick around to find out. But first, if you'd like to see more videos like this one and welcome more updates on your favorite car brand or the auto world in general, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we constantly bring you more of the most current information about modern day cars. Let's dive in. Chevy made sure to pay attention to every little facet of the car. So everything, from the form of the hood to the height of the rear wing, was designed with the intent of aiding aerodynamics. First of all, the Z06 is much broader than the Stingray. In fact, it shares the same width as the CA.R race car. Then there are inlets situated at the side that will aid in seizing more air, and in contrast with the standard Corvette's extractor bezels, those on the C8 Z06 are placed much lower and are wider, and even the tail lamps were repositioned outward so as to improve the width of the car. Chevrolet also had to get rid of more air from beneath the car, and it accomplished that through the openings found on the wheel. Special attention was given to the rear wing. It is truncated in the center to aid with the visibility, but it is greater in the corner, because this is where the air comes the cleanest, and it helps increase the downforce. Further still, Chevy made an extra addition by bringing in the optional Z07 package that complements extra carbon fiber aero package. A Z7 suspension along with precise magnetic ride control 4.0 calibrations, plus Michelin Sport Cup 2 RZP tires. With this modification, the Z06 can achieve up to 734 pounds of downforce at 186 miles per hour and pull 1.22 grams on a 300-foot skid pad. Under the hood, the engine is as stunning. A 5.5-liter naturally aspirated V8 replaced the supercharged engine from the C7Z06 in the C8Z08. It has a total output of 670 horsepower and 460 pound-foot of torque, making it the most potent naturally aspirated production engine in the whole world. This spec is made more obvious as the C8Z06 also has a peak speed of 195 miles per hour and accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2.5 seconds. The most important factors in creating an exciting driving experience for purists were engine responsiveness and trackability, two attributes of naturally aspirated engines. In order to surpass the power of any naturally aspirated production V8 engine ever manufactured, it was decided that a brand new naturally aspirated powertrain was required. The engine can rev to the high RPMs required to produce substantial power thanks to a light, flat plane crank design. The redesigned Z06 will also provide three progressively stronger degrees of aerodynamic support. The stock Z06 is equipped with a front splitter and a distinctive rear spoiler that may be customized to incorporate a fixed wicker bill that adds 365 pounds more of downforce at 186 miles per hour when installed. For the most track-capable downforce and agility, the optional carbon fiber aero package adds a wider front splitter, front corner canards, a rear wing placed on a pedestal, and underbody aero strakes. Almost every feature that makes the Z06 unique was created to support or improve that feature, according to Jutscher. We're able to produce 6% higher downforce than a 7th generation ZR, 1 and 8% lower drag by using the mid-engine architecture's inherent benefits. This summer will mark the start of manufacturing for the 2023 Corvette Z06, and the first vehicles will be delivered soon after. While we do not yet know the costs, we anticipate that the Z06 will start at about $100,000. Okay, so we covered a lot there, but there are still lots of other things we haven't talked about, like the full specs on the Corvette C8 Z06 and why we can call it America's best supercar. Also, why the world production for the Corvette hasn't begun, I mean, why the delay? The good thing is, we've got a whole playlist on this Corvette to get you answer after answer and you might want to check it out right here.